This is Seth David from the world famous Nerd Enterprises Incorporated bringing to you another special screencast. This time we're talking about MSXL formatting tips and tricks. Knowledge is power. Make an impact by learning more. Call me right now at 866-945-8070 for information about private trainings and consulting services. We always record the live session with you so you can review it as often as you like afterwards. Hi and welcome to Microsoft Excel formatting tips and tricks. I'm going to show you how to do some simple things to format a spreadsheet to make it look nice, to make it easy to read, and then we're going to use a practical application of this in the form of a holiday shopping budget, which hopefully you should find timely right now because it's the holidays when I'm doing this, December 2012. So, when you first open Excel, this is what you're going to see, right? You're going to see a big blank screen with lots of boxes. You've got your ribbons up here with your different uh, sort of c controls for different purposes. And going right into the topic of formatting, the first thing I usually like to do when I'm starting to develop a spreadsheet is to highlight the entire thing. Now, there's a couple ways you can do that. Control and the letter A will highlight the entire spreadsheet, or you can click in this upper left hand corner here between the A and the 1 and that also highlights the entire spreadsheet. One of the things I used to do is in the view menu I'd come here and turn off the grid lines because they always just kind of drove me crazy. Then I found that there were ways that the grid lines could come in handy and I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. So I stopped doing that way. I stopped turning off the grid lines. So now if I highlight the entire spreadsheet and give it kind of a light shading now I always, because otherwise I forget, I want to change the font so that it shows up nicely against that background. So very often I use a light gray for the background shading and a dark blue just because it works and it's nice and clean and simple. Then let's say I want to do a quick list of something, right? So uh, what I want to do is highlight a section and sometimes it's easier to write the headers because then I know exactly what I'm kind of working with here. So let's say I just want to do a quick list, you know, name. Uh, gift and then uh, budget right so what I might like to do next is take that range right I might want to widen these columns a bit first but I want to take the range directly underneath it and see all right let me just clear away some space you can always change this later you can remove lines add lines very easily but I take that section just below the headers I've created now and I, I get rid of the fill so now what it does is it gives me a nice contrast against that solid background which gives me a clear area where it's meant for me or whoever's using my spreadsheet to to enter information so this again gives a nice contrast and this is where the grid lines come in handy because now they show up of course now I want to go back to formatting the headers you might want to center these right click over there you might want to bold them to make them show up a little better then I want to give the background color, you know, I want to make the background something a little different just because they're headers. I want them to really stand out. So one option that I've found works well is, you know, to use a, a black background and a white font, right? That makes them show up very nicely. When I have a buffer, which I usually create on something like this, uh, you know, an extra column and an extra row just to give me sort of room to work with, I usually like to format the column with on that to be one and the row height is usually fine on that and then we can come over here to view and just below where my headers are all the way to the left I can freeze the panes so that when I'm scrolling down I can always see my headers no matter what so that my friends is just a few quick very simple tips on how to format a budget now we can get a little crazier if I want to with the headers control the number one brings up my format cells dialog and I can go to my fill settings here and go to fill effects and I like to use one of the ones I like to use often is you know the dark green and black click OK I've already got my font set to be bold white I might want to make it a little bigger because it's a header I click OK and now that shows up very nicely here now let's go into how this works in practice and I'm just gonna take you right over here to the one I prepared ahead of time this holiday shopping budget if you really want to get crazy on this one what I've done is a little darker background for a little better contrast right I went over here and I created the title of my spreadsheet the holiday shopping budget I used the standard title formatting here that Excel gives you 
And what I did was I created a table similar to what you just saw me create. I can center these headers. And then I said, you know, let's set the budget at $750. I, I saw something on the news recently where they said that was the average uh, holiday shopping budget for uh, Americans across the country, I guess. So now what I did was I, I, so I set up the space where I could enter whatever I want my budget to be. Some people, I'm sure there's going to be a lot more and some people less. So we can come in here and you can start preparing. You can list the names of all the people that you know you want to buy gifts for. You can describe what gift you want to get them and then put in the amount that you want to spend, that you can afford to spend on them. This way you don't go over your budget, whatever you've set here. And then down here below, what I've done is I've formatted my cells for a total, right, using the standard formatting. And I wrote a simple formula here that says take whatever's here in the budget and subtract from that everything that's here, everything that I'm going to spend. So if I look at that and I edit my cell with an F2, then you can see it's taking the 750 minus the sum of D6 through 24, which is this range that's denoted now in the green outline. So that formula will keep a tally. So as I start entering numbers in here and say, well, on this person I'm going to spend $25, this person 75 this person I really like will spend 150 and then maybe I got a bunch of 10 and $20 gifts and $35, whatever I need to allocate you know, to an individual. And then, of course, here it's pretty straightforward. I put in a name, I put in a gift, and as I'm browsing the web, I can look up the gifts and see what the prices are and adjust this. But this is a great way to uh, keep track of what you're spending in total and what you're spending on each individual just so you don't go crazy, so you don't go over your budget. And it's probably a good idea to do this before you go shopping so that you know exactly what you're getting into, you know exactly what you're going to spend. Otherwise, we tend to be impulsive and we buy things we didn't plan to buy. We spend more than we plan on spending and then we have a credit card debt to pay off throughout the rest of the year. Don't give your money to the banks. Don't overspend your budget. Uh, if you want, of course, as always, I'll make this template available for download. Uh, just look around the video, the blog post, wherever you're seeing this for a link that will direct you to where you need to go in order to get this template. As always, I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day, and I look forward to seeing you on the web.